Hey guys, and welcome back. So we're going to do another alphabet challenge. We're almost done with this thing. I can't believe we've gone so far so quick. Um, we're going to do the letter V as in Victor today. Um, so what I decided to do with this one is uh, vintage. Either vintage style, vintage items, either or. Um, we all like playing with really old stuff. So I figured it was only fitting to do vintage. So um, I've got a couple things out. Um, I've got some laces and I've got some fabrics. I've got some trims um, that are all, I even have some cards that are all actual vintage. And then I've got some things that are more vintage style. They're, they're modern, but they're not, they're not vintage. They are vintage style. Um, let's see. Um, I'm trying to think of anything. Oh, I've got an Etsy share to share with you guys. Um, I was trying to wait for other ones to come in because I do have some more coming in, but I figured since I'm recording this anyway, I might as well um, share with you guys. So I don't know if you guys remember me talking about Miss Caroline. Um, but she does some dye work and it's really, really, really pretty. So, oh, she sent me some paper doilies. How fun. I like paper doilies. Uh, so that's her, her information Boop. there. Caroline dot Etsy dot com. And I just bought some more tags. Cause I've been going through the tags really quickly. So I figured I would buy more cause I saw them and I was like, woohoo. So I snatched them up super quick because, um, she doesn't have them very often. She, I, I don't know if she's swapping over to only digitals or, um, what, but I do know that she doesn't have this size cards or the paper, like the full pages of paper very often. And when she does have them, I try to snag a couple. The tags, I try to grab as many as I can um, because I use them. Um, obviously, I use everything that I buy, but I use them the most. Out of everything that I purchase from her, the tags is the, the most common thing that I use. So I believe you get a set of six, I believe. Um, I forgot, obviously, yeah, it's a set of six. So, and that's what they look like. So there's, they're really unique and really pretty and they're just really easy to act like go with, like they're, I don't know, it's just, it, it's nice to have a good background starting point when you're decorating stuff. So, um, yeah, I don't know why I'm trying to close this back up. They're all gonna get opened and, Put away anyway. So there's that. Um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and start. Uh, I guess I could start with a tag or I could start with cards. I have these little cards as well. They're from like the twenties or thirties or something like that, but they're vintage. They're old. Um, they're written on, I think they're like train cards or something like that. I forget. I got them sometime last year. I don't remember exactly. Bloop, bloop. Um, let's see. I've, oh, I also have these things. Actually, I think I'm going to play with these instead of the tags. So I got these from Eve. These things are awesome socks. What did you do? Put a bag inside of a bag? Oh no, it just folded for me. I thought she put a bag inside of a bag the way this thing was folded. I was like, what? I'm sorry for the crinkle. I know some of you don't like that. All right, so this is actually like twine or something. How she managed to get that so tight, I have no idea, but sorry, I broke it. Anyway, these are really cool. They are time cards, but they're like, they're hard. You could use these as um, journaling cards or tags or whatever. So I'm actually gonna take three of these and we're gonna play with these today. 
And these, just to inform you, are from 1970, so they are actually vintage. Um, I think I read somewhere that the terminology vintage um, refers to 20 years, older than 20 years, which is really funny to me because if you really think about it, um, 1999 is vintage. Now, if you ask someone who is very much into this uh, shabby chic world, um, they'll probably say that the word vintage refers to a hundred years or older. Uh, that would be antique. Um, so just to clarify, I don't know the true definition of vintage. I don't think anybody does, but I do know that it is uh, perception based on many things like uh, wine is going to be different than lace. And I think lace is different for each person that you talk to. Um, like some people will say that vintage lace is 20 years or older because that is the most common definition of vintage. Whereas other people that are more Um, I don't know the right word, but other people would say that vintage lace only refers to 50 years or older. And then there are other people that are even more, of. Uh, I can't think of what I'm trying to say, but it, they'll say that, you know, vintage is a hundred years or older. So I really do think that it's perception based. And I think that, um, a lot of people use the word vintage based on the most common, um, terminology usage and the most common terminology uh, definition, which is 20 years. Um, so I think that's why it is quote unquote overused. Um, but anyway, I've been thinking about that for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and start this timer so I can actually start playing. Um, as soon as I find the timer. Okay. Um, so I just, I'm just going to set it back here so I can see it. Hopefully it'll stay on my screen. So this is, um, this is a pillowcase that I tore up a long time ago, but isn't it pretty? I love this thing. So I'm actually going to take a smidge of this and I do have more of this, so it's not you know, oh my God, she's taking it apart. But I mean, let's be honest. We don't gather stuff up just to have it sit in our room and never use it. Right. We gather it up because it's nice and it's pretty and you know, it inspires us to do something. So I thought about it because, um, I recently did a video on, on you obviously, and, uh, it was unpack. And so I started thinking about it and how much stuff do we have that, um, you know, we wanted to use, but we just never got around to it because of this, that, or another, or we bought it because it was really pretty. And now we can't bring ourselves to use it because it's so pretty. Well, yeah, I get that. I'm one of those people, trust me. Um, but at the same time, wouldn't it make our projects that much more, more because we're using that stuff that's like, oh, so pretty, right? I don't know. I think we should use the stuff in our stash. Um, so many of us, myself being at probably very close to the top, if not at the top of the list of gatherers, like we just gather, 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 and we just don't really you know, do much with it. Um, now, obviously I, I sell, um, I sell craft materials. So I would have a little bit more than the average crafter, but sorry, I got all tangled up. But even before I started selling stuff, um, I still had a ton a ton of stuff. Like it's crazy because we just, I would like to say that we hoard it, but hoarding is a bad word apparently. Um, 
So we don't hoard it, but um, we do gather a lot of it. And, you know, we should use it. Ow, that's warm. I have no idea what I'm doing with this. I just know I want to use it. Because I don't really want to cover up the card. <laughs> but I want to use this fabric. And I'm not sure how I'm doing that just yet. So right now I'm just kind of decorating the fabric. Um, let's see. I've got some pre-made stuff. I've got some lacy stuff, obviously. Uh, let's see. Oh, and there's another little piece that came off of this one. I don't know. Do you guys agree with me? Do you, I mean, obviously, you know, thinking one way and actually doing it are not the same things. Because I can sit here and say all day long... I would like to use my stash, but I still go out and buy more stuff because, well, I'm a goofball like that. So this is also from Miss Eve over in Switzerland. And this is vintage. Um, this is, I believe, from the 60s. So even if you have that vintage is only 50 years or older, this is vintage because I believe it's from the 60s, making it 70 years old at least. So, I kind of like that. I like that side too. I like this side better though. I'm just going to put it right on top. And we're going to cut it right there. Bonk. Bonk. And yeah, I am covering that up, but I, I wanted this because of the freely frills, not because of the string in the middle. Ah, that's warm. And I'm actually going just shy of this edge right here, the tattered edge, because I want to keep that look. All right, what am I gonna do with you? Could just make you into a flip, right? I don't really do the flips too much, but I mean, they're pretty cool. And Miss Gales does them all the time and they look amazing. So why not? Do like a little flippy flap here. That way you can still write on it, you know? I like that idea. But I'm going to glue this down all the way down, this part right here, underneath. Um, do I want anything underneath that? No? Okay, good. Alright. Boop. I'm just going to center that up. Oh, that's cool. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I think I want to put something right here, though, right in the middle. Um, so let's move you over here and we'll grab this. So these are also vintage. You'll hear that word a lot in this particular video only because, well, it's vintage stuff. So it is only fitting that we use vintage stuff. All right, now let's grab a pearl to go inside of that. All right, let's glue this down first. Bloop. Meh. No, nope, I think I like it better the other way. Hey, 
Let go. Let go of my ego. I used to like those commercials when I was a kid. The ego commercials. I don't really watch too much commercial TV anymore. Like I watch a lot of Hulu and Netflix and Amazon and Disney. Um, we recently got Disney Plus or what's it? Yeah, that's what it's called, Disney Plus. Um, I say recently, but it's been like six months. Um, so these are some flatback pearls. Uh, a lot of them are from Recollections. Um, and some of them aren't. Like this one, um, it was a freebie in an order that I made. I like that coral color. Let's see. Like, um, I like that coral color too. I like that pink. I think I like that pink better. I like that big one. Come here, pink. Bloop. Oh, yeah. I mean, it'll look better when it's centered, or at least centered ish, but not necessarily at the bottom. Bloop. There we go. Ah, oh, my clock disappeared. Come here, clock. I want to see you. Okay. 20 minutes. Not too bad. That's cute though, right? So we used vintage fabric, vintage trim, not the eyelash, that's modern. I mean, that, I don't know if that particular one was made in the last 20 years, but you could definitely buy it. Like, you can go to Michael's and buy some. Um, actually, all my yarn and stuff I get from Joann's. I don't get it from Michael's. Anyway, and then this is vintage as well. So I think that's pretty cute. I like I like the flippy thing. Bloop, 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 bloop. Like, you can even have, like, a little secret. Like, doo -doo -doo -doo. hide it. That's cute. I love it. All right, so we have this little guy here. Let's make him more entertaining. So we're going to use this again. I do like the eyelash trim. If you haven't figured that out. I do use it a little bit. One of the things that I miss doing is when I first started my YouTube channel, we used to do project shares all the time, like every month because I got it. I got the idea from Melissa, Missy, um, for over at do what you love because she would do the project shares. So I was like, oh, that's such a great idea. And so I started doing them and I haven't done one of those in so long. Y'all let me know if that's something that you would be interested in because I think it is so much fun. Cause I mean, I could even participate in it as well. And I would just, you know, I would send everybody or not everybody, but you know, everybody would send in their projects and then we'd swap them all around. Basically, it's just like a project swap, but you have a middleman and you have a whole bunch of people uh, participating. And one of the great things that I like more about the project shares than project swaps is you are guaranteeing that everyone that participates gets a project back. 
So that's one of the things that I like about it because I've been in project swaps before where um, the other person like flakes out and then your partners are completely abandoned and oh, that's just no bueno. It is no bueno at all. All right, so I got this new lease. So this is obviously not vintage. I just said the words new. Um, so that's what it looks like. It's a really pale pink. Um, it's just on a, I don't know what she uses. Uh, it looks like priority boxes, but I think she reuses her priority boxes, which I think is amazing. That's a great way to use them. I know a lot of people are very, um, particular about the usage of priority boxes, which I completely agree. I think that they shouldn't be taken advantage of. Um, but I think that it's a great way. I think it's a great idea to reuse them, not necessarily for shipping because not everybody sells stuff, you know, you might buy stuff, but you don't necessarily all sell. So I think it's great. Oh, stop. That's not my, that's not my timer timer. It's just, it's noon. I gave the kids lunch a little bit early today. So, um, I can do this video. I'm a little behind. Like you guys saw the unpack video yesterday. You'll see this video tomorrow. Uh, I got a little distracted. So I recently, I recently found a new series to watch on, on television. <laughs> Um, I'm not saying that I got distracted for a good reason, but I did get distracted anyway. Um, so many of you might know that my son is autistic and I found this show. Well, I refound the show because we watched it when it first came out, but we only really watched a few of the episodes because we were watching it as it was coming out. And I don't like watching shows like that because I get impatient and I want to see what happens right now, you know? So anyway, it's uh, The Good Doctor and it's an amazing show. Um, now the characteristics and the character traits of this young man are very different than that of my son uh, because my son um, also is high functioning, but he is a little bit more social aware or socially aware than the young man in the show. And I understand that it's fiction, but um, the severity of the social interactions is a little bit different than Porter's. Porter is not quite that extreme. Um, he can talk to you. Um, he is very literal, just like the young man in the show. So if you explain to him why something is theory theoretically a way, he's not going to understand it. Um, like things like sociology and psychology are very tough for him because of the, the theory, because sociology and psychology are very theory based subjects. Um, they're philosophical subjects. And he's very analytical and very matter of fact, black and white, stuff like that. Um, and that's kind of how the young man in the show is as well. Uh, there was a, there was an episode on um, this young lady who had come in who was transgender and he could not understand um, the philosophy behind it. He was very stuck on the biology of it. And, um, towards the end of the show, he called her she, and it was like a breaking point for him. It was like a monumental thing. It was really cool. Anyway, um, the show is really cool. I do really appreciate shows like that because it just, it shows my son that your autism is part of who you are. It's not it's not a bad thing. You know, it's not a disability. It's just who you are. The fact that you're a genius doesn't make you disabled or advantaged. It just makes you who you are. 
and I don't know. I, I really enjoy shows like that um, a lot because that means that someone else in this world has that mentality too. Someone else in this world and feels that it's important to, um, to share that. And I don't know. I just, I really think that it's important. So I think that worked out really well. Very vintagey and shabby chic. The card itself is vintage. Everything else on this card is not. Nothing else on this card is vintage except for the card itself. So I actually really like that. So I think I'm going to do the card again. We might have time to make another one actually. I like that one. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just being silly. Ah, yeah, we have 10 minutes left. So we've done about um, 10 minutes per item. Ah, <laughs> my yarn and my lace are, are getting tangled up. So with the, with the eyelash trim, something that I found is I think I did it on accident once because I was just playing with it. But if you take it and pull it down like this, you'll actually open up the fibers a little bit and they'll spread out more for you. And yes. Um, and I assume that you're using eyelash trim to begin with because you'd like the fibers to be all spread it out and such. I could be wrong. I'm wrong a lot. Contrary to my son's belief, which, you know, doesn't really surprise me. How many of you have sons? I know there are several of you that have um, children, but a lot of you have daughters. How many of you have sons? And the reason that I'm asking is, did they like start out mama's boys? Like, were they always mama's boys or was it something that changed within them and like made them become more of a mama's boy? If you have sons that happen to be mama's boys. Um, and the reason that I ask is because Porter, um, seems to be veering towards that path, which I'm not complaining. I very much enjoy it. It is nice. Um, it is, it's interesting because for a while they minus Sydney, cause she was, she was always, she's always been the, well, obviously she's been the youngest, but, um, she's not really old enough to have, um, a, like a favoritism, if you will. Like, it's not that, oh, I'm rambling. It's not that they have a, like a favorite parent, but they tend to imitate more or gravitate more towards this parent than that parent or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm making any sense, but I rarely do. I like this. I like this a lot. I need another thin lace. I don't want to use the same one. So this will be available in the shop eventually. I'm behind. Surprise again. So I recently had to put some more snippet packets in the shop because um, they all sold out like immediately. And so I had to put more. <laughs> and I was like, ah! And the snippet packs are great, but they take so much time to do. But I was like, oh, no. All right, we'll do yellow. So this is a, like, a, kind of a pastel yellow. I mean, you can see it here. It's like a pastel -y yellow. It's really pretty. All right, I'm going to go. Oh, I like that. Okay. Beep. It was funny. I was watching a video this morning and she just kept rambling on and on and on and on and on. And it was so funny because she was just like, I'm so sorry. I'm rambling. I was like, you know, I'm pretty sure that YouTubers like that. 
have the audiences that they have because they ramble on and on and on. Like I know when I first started, that was one of the factors that everybody told me that they liked about my channel was the fact that I would just talk. I would just talk to them. So I thought it was kind of funny. That and the fact that I seem to make sound effects, which is funny to me. <laughs> it's funny to me because I never knew it did it. That's, that's why it's funny. It wasn't until a subscriber was like, you know, you make noises, right? I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, you make sound effects for like everything. I was like, what? No, I don't. And I rewatched some of my videos. I was like, ooh, I do. <laughs> How interesting and weird. But yeah. But anyway, um, I think some of you have mentioned that you wouldn't mind seeing like the craft with me videos. Do you guys like the shorter videos or the longer videos? Um, cause I never really know. Cause sometimes I would like to sit and watch a video for a while. And then sometimes I only have a few minutes to watch the video. You know what I mean? So I feel bad because it's a longer video and I, I really want to sit and watch it, but I don't have time to. So what do you guys think? And I know a lot of you are probably, well, those of you who are still here, um, probably don't care one way or another about the fact that I'm not going live, but I know that there's a lot of people that are upset with me because I stopped going live. I just don't have the time because my kids, I mean, obviously my kids come first and my family comes first. Um, but the videos are just so much easier for me because when I have time, I can sit down for 30 minutes, record and then post it, you know? Um, but I don't always have time like that. That's pretty, but I don't like, I don't like the green on this one cause it doesn't match. Um, so we're going to look at, I'm going to look at this. I don't think these are going to match either, but I don't know. The yellow is not bad. I actually really like the yellow. And then we're going to put something on the other side. Uh, we'll put something small on the other side. Maybe a couple more of the pearls. But yeah, I know a couple of you, well, not you guys, but I know a couple people um, a few people actually have gotten quite upset with me because I'm not doing lives anymore. And I mean, I feel bad, but at the same time, I just, I can't, you know, I mean, they can be upset with me all they want, but it doesn't change the fact that I can't do it. I just don't have, like my son right now is doing nine classes, nine in four months. And I mean, granted, there's not a whole lot that I specifically do for that, but I have to grade all of that. <laughs> like, that's a lot of, and on top of that, my, my daughter is also doing classes. Like she's doing five classes. I mean, granted hers are a lot easier because she's doing third grade instead of ninth grade, but I don't know. I just, I don't have the time to sit on live for an hour every single day. And I feel bad because people get mad at me <laughs> for it. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. Like my shop is taking a lot of my time. My family is taking a lot of my time. I mean, my kids are taking a lot of my time. What do you want me to do? You know, I don't know just, it seems silly to get mad about something like that. I really like these. I really, really like these. These are very cool. And then my little flippy flip here, which I really like this one too. I don't know. Just because it's so different, I guess. But, oh, and they all match. Look at that. Check it out. That's cool. Well, that was unintentional, but 
there you go. They all match. I don't know. Maybe they'll end up in a journal. Maybe they'll end up in the shop. Who knows? But they will end up in this little bucket right here, which is my bag of stuff <laughs> that I have done <laughs> for, for this, uh, the alphabet challenge thing. Um, so either I need to make quite a few journals or I need to get them in the shop. I've sold some of them already, but um, I haven't sold all of them. Is this another? Yep, yeah, this is another paper clip. So this one goes bloop, like so. I really like this one. This is probably one of my favorites. But then again, it's purple, so I like purple. Let go. Let go. Thank you. Um, oh, I should turn the timer off before it yells at me. There's a minute and 14 seconds left. My notifications keep popping off. Um, so, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm trying to do what I can to stay active on YouTube. Um, but I cannot do the lives. I just can't. I'm sorry that I have upset people by doing that or rather not doing that. I'm not trying to be a snob. I'm not trying to be, you know, whatever it is, you know, that you guys, that not you guys, because the ones that are watching this are the ones that have stuck by me and kind of understand that I can't do the lives. Um, the ones that comment all the time, every video, like that means a lot to me and I really, really appreciate that. And I just want to say thank you to all of you who are continuing to support me, even though I'm not doing what, you know, other people want me to do. Um, so I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, but no, for real, it's just, it means a lot to me. So thank you. Uh, I will try to do craft with me videos after the challenge is over. We'll probably just, honestly, we'll probably continue to do similar things to what we've been doing. Um, because, um, well, it's fun and I like doing it. So why not? Might actually start a journal because that would be, um, that would be a great way to use some of this stuff that we've made. Um, I just don't know what kind of journal to make, like what theme I should make it in. Um, so if you guys have any, uh, suggestions or ideas on, you know, what kind of themed journal, uh, we should start with after the alphabet challenge is done, uh, shoot me in the comments and, uh, let me know, uh, what your ideas are. Um, well, as of right now, I don't really have one. Um, I was kind of thinking like, um, like a forest, like, a like a forest wonderland or something like that. Um, I'm actually supposed to be doing an Alice something, uh, with Eve, but neither one of us have started that project. So, uh, I don't feel so bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're supposed to be basically using the same materials, but, um, kind of putting our own spin on it, I guess. Um, but yeah. So anyway, if you guys have any ideas on what to do next as far as like a theme journal goes let me know and uh yeah we can probably start that but until then we'll just keep making embellishments for the journals and such so thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it and thank you guys for everyone who's supporting me everyone who's watching every day everyone who's commenting every day like you guys really 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 mean a lot to me so thank you for that so i will see you guys all next time and um Bye.